Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how you can make core data project include save, fetch, search, and delete. Uh, during this video, first of all, uh, we will uh, review how you can make a project and uh, make a, you know prepare user interface and uh, your core database. And then in other videos, uh, in next videos, we will review how you can save, fetch, search, and delete those uh, data inside the uh, core data. Today, uh, we will use uh, Xcode version 9.3, iOS 11, Swift 4.1, and uh, Simulator 10. Okay, let's start our project. So, first of all, we uh, will... Uh, create a new project single view app we choose single view app make sure to check mark uh, use core data and uh, here uh, we name it as iOS 4 core data Okay, and uh, here I choose final iOS Swift and uh, create it. Okay, now we have our uh, project ready. First of all, I'll go to launch a screen. Launch a screen is a screen that uh, project uh, when it wants to start show for a few seconds. So. Uh, here I place a label at the middle. Okay, I go to attributes and change the label, for example, to loading. And I make it a little bit bigger and also color light, color, light uh, gray and make it center. Then I add constraint to make wide and height uh, fixed and then I align this label at the center horizontally and the vertical. Okay, now I'll go to main storyboard and here we will uh, start to making our user interface but before this uh, let's go and make our core data so uh, you know in your project uh, because we check mark core data you will have uh, a file which is uh, project name dot x data model and uh, here you can add how many ent uh, entity you like so for let uh, first uh, you know one uh, entity uh, by default it's gonna be entity but uh, I will change that one to city library lib and uh, I add two three uh, attribute for that uh, the first one city name uh, you need to know that attribute uh, couldn't be ca start with capital uh, so province name and country name. okay all of them gonna be string here you go so now we have our data model ready. Uh, okay, let's go to main storyboard. Okay, in main storyboard, uh, I start to make my user interface. So first of all, I put a label on top. Okay, this uh, label uh, gonna be, you know, I make it says core data sample and make it a little bit bigger for example 26 and I color it as a dark purple 
Okay. I want to align it. Uh, center. Okay. Uh, okay, I need the uh, text field here. This text field is for entering uh, our you know, city, province, and country name. So let's make it a little bit customized. Uh, uh, give a light blue background to it. It's dark to be lighter. Okay. And also, I put a placeholder for it to avoid using you know label. So I put city for this. Okay, I'm gonna make a copy of this. So command C and command V. So I make the second one and third one. Also, I need one text field for search. Okay, so I just need to change placeholder of this to province and country. Okay, and uh, this one search for. Okay, and uh, now I add uh, two button here you go uh, it's gonna be our save button ink text color yellow and background blue okay again control C control V here I put my search button and another one gonna here sitting at the button here gonna be button for showing less so show uh, Okay, so just make a text color for this one green too. A little bit different. Okay, and also I need uh, one more label for result of a search under here. So I put this one, and uh, yeah, it's sitting here. I remove this label. I give it background. Uh, light gray and uh, here we go and also uh, one more thing uh, here you will see number of the lines is one uh, if I make it zero it's gonna be how many you like or how many actually program going to be so I make it zero okay so now we have our uh, you know items in the screen but uh, we need to add constraint to fix them on the screen even with different uh, you know devices so first of all I make all of them actually I need to add constraint to all of them to be fixed at uh, you know wide and high so I choose one by one and add same constraint that I made it for them okay So now all of them has a constraint. Okay, now I need to say okay which uh, were in the screen. So I choose all of them. So I uh, select one of them, then keep pushing command and select the rest of them. 
Okay, now I align all of them horizontally, center horizontal. Okay, so uh, now I'm pretty sure that uh, all, of, uh, all of them gonna sit at the center. Okay, and uh, now I'm gonna uh, vertically I'm gonna fix them. So to pushing command and uh, drag mouse to toggle save the spare area so we're gonna do this and then the rest I'm gonna uh, fix the rest to this one the you know item on top of them so control Z I make a mistake so yeah Okay, and this one. This one I uh, fix it to the bottom, and then later I'll tell you why. But it's because uh, the, you know, always I want to be on top, and this one that doesn't go down, you know, under, uh, uh, you know, in hidden area. Okay, now I have everything, uh, you know. Uh, ready also I am gonna add my second uh, view second view is uh, gonna be on my table view so uh, I come here I say uh, you know, type view so I add one view controller for uh, this uh, view controller I'm gonna make a, a one controller so new file Google Attach uh, class and uh, make sure here you choose the UI view controller and uh, here I put city view controller okay so it's gonna create a class uh, you know sweet class for me here and uh, what I do I come here uh, go to my here you know click on this yellow button which is our, uh, this view controller and then come to uh, identity inspector tab and here I choose city view control okay so now uh, this view gonna be city view controller uh, inside my city view controller uh, I gonna add first of all one uh, uh, navigation bar on top just under uh, uh, you know safe area and uh, also this one need an item in it so I add one item inside this here we go and uh, rename it to back also I uh, need a table view One table uh, view. Yeah, table view vertically. So I put this table view here. I, you know, make it to fill all of the area of the screen. Okay, now I need to type them. Uh, so I choose uh, each of them and say, okay, I'm gonna constrain this to the margins. And also for this one, it's zero constraint to the margins. Okay, what else I need? I needed one uh, table view cell. So I put one table view cell here. The only things I need to do, I need to come in my, choose my table view cell and uh, make sure to give it identity. Fire. So let me come to content view and uh, this should be a cell. Yeah, this one. So here, identifier, I make it cell with capital C. Okay? So we have this one ready. Uh, also, I need to 
fix uh, following uh, you know direction of the program so I keep pushing control drag from here to view here and say show and also in this back uh, again keep pushing control and uh, show so this let us to go uh, between these uh, two control view and I see here uh, some uh, signs uh, that uh, you know uh, help me about the missing constraint so add missing constraint here set constraint to be bigger uh, than bigger or equal occurrence okay so uh, I fix everything the, the only things that now I need I need to connect them to the view controller so I come here I close uh, right side here and uh, I click on uh, edit assistant editor and uh, okay so this is for uh, UI view controller so I connect uh, all of this uh, uh, to the class so control drag from here on top of here and uh, name this one city text okay let's make some space here the, the second one I name it events text third one I name it country test text sorry <laughs> and uh, also for search text build I name it search for and this label gonna be our search results okay also we need to action for our uh, buttons so from this button i say okay and save button Sorry, I made a mistake. It's uh, I don't want to be this, so uh, I don't. I need to add an action, not uh, connect. Okay, so here I need here to not output this. So I choose action and name it save button. And for search as well. Search button. Uh, make sure to make it an action. Okay. So now uh, we made almost our uh, user interface and our connection to control view and everything. So in next video we gonna review how we can uh, you know. Uh, communicate with uh, this uh, core data okay that's it uh, for this video and, uh, if you have any comment uh, leave, uh, any question leave that comment and uh, make sure if you like the video give it thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more video like this have a good one